Bing, bang, boom. Hi, uh, this lesson is uh, tangent and circumscribed angles. Okay, tangents, okay. All right, and this is part one. We're going to do a two-day on this. So our question here is, what do we know about tangents to a circle? Okay, so tangents and circumscribed angles of a circle. Okay, so recall a tangent is a line that is, uh, that's in the same plane of a circle and intersects that circle in exactly one point, and that point is called the point of tangency, okay? Hey, good morning, Mr. Newboom. I'm, I'm doing a lesson, so I'll talk to you in just a second. So uh, I'm putting it online here. So, oh, that's all right. Uh, so in, plane, in a plane, if a line is tangent to a circle, if and only if, and those, so the, we abbreviate if and only if with IFF, uh, the line is perpendicular to the radius um, at its outer endpoint. And you're thinking, what does that mean? Okay, so, so here's a tangent line right here. So this tangent line right here, is always perpendicular to the radius that goes to that point of tangency. So it's a right angle right there, okay? That's what that says right there. So code word is, you see tangent automatic right angles, okay? All right, so in the figure here, segment PT is a radius of circle P. Is ST tangent to the circle P right there? Okay. So the converse is true. If it's perpendicular, it's tangent. That's correct. All right, so if it is tangent, then that means that there's going to be a right angle there. So if it's a right angle there, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So yeah, we want to check. Is 12 squared plus 35 squared equal to 37 squared? So we just got to square them, add them up, and we find out, yep, it is. So that is tangent because it's a right angle, it's a right triangle, so yes, it is. All right, in this figure, B is the point of tangency. Find the length of the radius, okay? So if that's the point of tangency, remember, right angle right there. So you make a right so, triangle and... So, radius is probably going to be one of the legs. Yeah. The missing, yeah. Missing length by yeah. the Pythagorean theorem. That's right. So here we go. We're going to set up the Pythagorean theorem. And what's this length right here? This length is this one plus this one. It's 50 plus r. Okay. So we use the Pythagorean theorem, and then get them, uh, square them up, and then uh, my students are going to ask, where'd that 100 r come from? Well, it came from when we foiled out 50 times this r, and then this r times 50 to get 50 r and 50 r. Remember, you got to foil out this binomial. A lot of students still yeah, want to do the, the first term, yeah, square square the second term. term. That's, right. That's right. All right, so then uh, we can cancel out those R's right there and then uh, solve for R, and we get uh, the radius to be 39 feet. All right, so tangent segments from the same external point are congruent. So here's my external point right here. So this tangent segment is the same length as this tangent segment right there. All right, so if segment RS is tangent to circle C at point S and segment RT is tangent to circle C at T, find the value of X. Okay, remember that last uh, theorem, tangent segments from the same external point are congruent. So we set them equal, subtract, solve, and we get X equals 8. Okay, uh, a little bit more. Okay, a circumscribed angle. This is new in our textbook. It's not hard. A uh, circumscribed angle is an angle that's formed by two rays from a common endpoint uh, that are tangent to the circle. Okay, so, so here's two rays, and so this angle right here is our circumscribed angle. Okay, and so what happens with circumscribed angles is uh, it's, uh, it's supplementary with the associative, uh, associated sorry, uh, uh, central angle. So, so this angle and this angle are supplementary. So we, uh, we can say angle X right here. I don't know if I did. No, I didn't. Um, and we can probably say angle C. So angle X and angle C are supplementary, which means 180. Now remember, since they're tangent, we know that those are right angles. They're perpendicular up there. So those are also supplementary. All right, so let's use that theorem to uh, find X here. Okay, so we got some, um, uh, this is tangent to the circle. This is tangent to the circle. So that means this angle and this angle are supplementary, which is 180. Combine like terms and then solve for x, we get x equals 24. All right, so angle QMP. So here's QMP. Okay, well, that's a right angle right there, so that one's going to be 90, okay? Remember, if it's tangent, they're both right angles right there. All right, and then so let's plug in x equals 24 here and x equals 24 here, and then that's going to solve us for uh, those angle measures. So we get... Uh, 46 on this angle, and so notice this is the supplement right there, so we get uh, 134. All right, you guys, if you're in our class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.